Hello, I'm Joystick Jamboree, and today uh, the new Rideau engine has just finally dropped. Um, and we're going to install it today. Let's see how to install it. So, uh, first things first, we're going to open up uh, Google. We're going to go straight to Rideau. Like this, Rideau engine. And it seems like we got two options. We got the GitHub, and I guess this thing is coming up, this website. There we go. This is the website. So uh, you click this. And you download. I guess it's going to be a zip file. So on this page, we got the docs. Well, coming soon. It's still under construction. If you're feeling a little Linuxy and, uh, you know, a little terminal or git bash uh, or whatever way you want to open it using the repository so you can click here click to copy copy the clipboard um, for the radio and engine and next we go to our uh, wherever we want to install let's just say we want to install it uh, to this page right here so I can just right click git bash here we could ls or create and make a new directory but we can go git clone and then we just put in our link paste it here and just like that we're downloading uh, the Rideau engine if you want to do it the old-fashioned way uh, you know we can just get our download and we just pick our Let's say here, if I start a new uh, folder, call it uh, Rideau, and let's stick our new uh, folder. Now let's just unzip it, click, unzip, extract files. Uh, yeah, let's do it right here. And which one switch? Okay, the console, I guess we won't need, but like the editor right here, we just click and drag. Here. Actually, first things first, take this guy right here, right in, the, right in the dumpster, and we put this guy right here. And why not add it to into the taskbar bam so that's how you install uh Rideau. very easy it's just it's pretty much the same way as the old of uh same way you install Godot. um next let's just see let's take a look inside of here while we're here oh nice little flash screen let's create a new project we can even port existing ones but Uh, let's just create something here. Uh, let's pick my D drive. And let's make a new folder. Tutorial. And inside of here, we're going to create another folder. We can just call it uh, install. It's all project, just for fun. Select current, and we're just going to call this uh, install test. Create, and let's see. I mean, it's the first one, it's the first time uh, being run, so it might take a few seconds. Just like that. Even has a nice little red theme going <clears throat> so let's just do a simple hello world here test script and let's just do funk ready uh, I saw I had I saw some like uh 
the void, whatever. Here, here. And we're just gonna print hello world. Let's say okay. Let's see if this does it. Select current. There we go. Hello world. And that's it. Nothing really fancy. Uh, straight up. So we open up a new uh, project manager. Let's import. And we can just go to the default. And let's do something. Yeah. Let's import and test it. So let's just see here. Uh, does porting work completely the same? And let's see here. Let's just hit run. Yep. And let's see if everything's the same here. In theory, everything should be working the same. Yep, this is it for the tutorial. This is the loaded uh, project from Godot, and it works perfectly fine just like the way I've made it in Godot.